Today we're gonna to talk about a camera that I found in my closet. What's up? It's Ryan and uh, today I want to talk about a camera that I found in a closet that was definitely in my closet for at least, oh, I'd say about five to six years. And when I found it, it was actually covered in candle wax that had melted onto it. So the camera I'm talking about is this one right here. This is the Ryko 500 rangefinder camera. It's built pretty solid. The winder is actually on the bottom down here and you actually just push it, like kind of pull it instead of on top where you do it with your thumb, you actually use your hand to pull it to cock to the next shutter. And then simple kind of click. Uh, like I said, it is a rangefinder camera, so in order for you to focus, there are those two mirrors that have to line up so you know that you're in focus. The focusing ring is controlled by these two tabs on the front. And uh, this actually has an aperture all the way down to 2.8, so it opens, opens up pretty wide, gets a lot of light and a good shallow depth of field, and goes all the way to 22. Um, the fastest shutter speed on here is 500 and the lowest is bulb on there. Uh, it takes a regular 35 millimeter film. You actually take it off and load it by pulling the bottom off, kind of like a Leica M6 or other Leica cameras. It's pretty solid built. I, it's a, I did some research on this camera. It was, first came out in the late 50s. Most of us, they enjoy good times over again in pictures. Uh, it's, it's a really solid camera. The glass on here is nice and clean, and I was actually blown away by the photos I got. We went to Dumbo about a week or two ago, and I took this camera, and I gave my girlfriend the Olympus XA1 that I talked about in this last video, and I took the photos on here with Fuji 400A Professional Film, and I actually didn't think I was gonna get anything, because like I said, this thing was sitting in a closet in different types of temperatures and different types of weather covered in candle wax for up to at least five years it actually still smells like the candle that melted on it which is kind of weird and kind of funny when you're taking photos with it but the photos that came out just kind of like honestly blew me away and that just shows how long lasting and how well built these devices are and it just works absolutely fine uh, some of the photos that came out I'll show you right now, they came out just, like I said again, just better than I really expected. So here's a couple of photos, and here's some of us just walking around, checking out Dumbo. still a lot of people out and it was just a beautiful day and we took a bunch of photos uh, and actually the portrait photos actually came out real good because again this goes down to 2.8 so you can get that shallow depth of field and you can ni get nice and close and with that sort of range finder focus you can make proper adjustments and really get it lined up perfectly. And that's the cool thing about film cameras 
is they could just be sitting in a closet somewhere just gathering dust and then you clean it off clean the lens up a little put some new batteries put some new film in it and you get these amazing photos i basically i'm not sure how much this camera retailed for when it came out or how much it is on ebay right now if i can find it i'll link it below but i just found this camera just stumbled upon it in my closet and it still works and still takes incredible photos so i'm gonna go take some more photos with this but again if you ever come across a Ryko a Ryko 500 definitely check it out you could probably find it on eBay for under a hundred bucks but this thing also came with a adjustable tele lens that you were actually screw onto the front but I don't really like to shoot a lot of tele kind of photos so I just left it off and did like a 35 millimeter uh, lens on here and just took some photos with that and was able to really capture some great photos but again uh, super surprised by how good the photos came out on this I really really didn't think I was gonna get anything I thought I was just gonna get crap but they came out good. I'm highly impressed by it. I had a great time shooting with it. I'm definitely gonna use it again, and I'm super excited to have a good working rangefinder camera. Uh, I was holding off to buy a Leica, but this could probably get me by for a little while. I mean, it's in pristine condition. So, like I said, don't underestimate a 35 millimeter camera that you found in your closet. Clean it up a little bit, put some batteries in there, put some fresh film in there, and you'll actually be surprised. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.